WTFNN. Headline News Update. And welcome to 3 p.m. Update with David White. We'll have uh, Larry Pesavento in the 3 o'clock hour uh, coming up in just a minute. Uh, we're kind of bouncing around right now after the Fed uh, came out with their decision. We got to a high of 41.14 on the S&P cash. We're right about that, 41.10 right now. Uh, again, a lot of moving pieces. Uh, earnings out after the bell tonight. Um We'll probably we well, got about generally about another 15 minutes left of the Fed taking questions and answers, uh, which uh, he could put a foot wrong and stand on a landmine. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, again, <clears throat> you want to keep an eye out what how the market closes. Now, to, <clears throat> now tomorrow morning we have the ECB uh, coming out. Of course, after the bell tonight, we've got a lot of big heavy hitters with Amazon, Apple, Google, uh, Ford, Qualcomm, uh, Starbucks, uh, Gilead Sciences, um, United States Steel, uh, Clorox, uh, Skechers. So there will be a lot more going on. Don't uh, get too fixated. But more than likely, we're going to have some fun buying. The question is, is it going to go into NASDAQ stocks? Is it going to go into S&P or the Dow's? And, you know, any more talk about uh, lower interest rates generally going to help the Dow. At one point, we were down about 400 points right after the announcement, about flat right now. NASDAQ's up about 1.5%. Uh, compared to about eight tenths of a percent on the S&P cash. So just know there is a ton going on. Uh, there's going to be a ton continuing. Uh, and that generally the problem with uh, trying to catch what I think is going to be a blow off top uh, probably in the next couple of days here is having the patience to wait if you're thinking about going short. Uh, if you are a very short term trader, uh, we've seen exactly what you want, which is a lot of people lining up to get short. And uh, generally, they're going to be three hours, three days, three weeks, or three months early in getting short. Don't be three. Just hold your breath for a while. Anyway, wait for uh, Larry Pesavento coming up and sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien today.